Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Spawner Meta plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to purchase spawners, upgrade them, and it is fully customizable and very easy to use. So, you can see there is an absolute ton of animals spawning around here. And the first thing we're going to look at is how you can upgrade one of these spawners. And if we right click it, we can see there's a few things here. Top left, it just tells us the name and the location. But here we have range, delay, and amount. Now, using experience, we can actually upgrade it to the next tier. Similar to enchantments, it goes from one to five. So if we were to left click this, we would upgrade it to a range of three, and it now goes out to 28 blocks where animals can spawn. And we can continue clicking this to get to maximum level. You can see delay is down to 10 seconds before another llama will spawn. And then the amount, how many entities uh, can spawn and we can upgrade that to eight in total and then if we have a look over here it's going to be the exact same thing but these are all level one and you can see the current and next delay um, and you can do that so i'm going to break that spawner and successfully mine it now when you do try and mine a spawner it will bring it back into your inventory as you just saw with the same delay that you set so if i get rid of this one here it will jump into my inventory and it keeps the upgrades that you upgraded and that allows you to not waste experience if you accidentally destroy one. So that's how it works just upgrading them. There's a few different commands. Now for you for slash spawner view this is simply just to look at all the different animals and spawners that you have and then the prices and experience and levels for each of them which you can obviously customize. Now if you're op you can click any of these to get various different spawners. However, normal players will have to do the forward slash spawner shop command and this is where they can purchase things and you can see there's different prices, you can buy one or right click to buy four and that will allow you to get any spawner that you want and obviously you can change the prices as you wish. Now there are a few commands, so if we do the forward slash sm command and then we'll do forward slash sm give and then you could choose a particular animal and that will give me a bat spawner. Now something that's pretty handy is if we do the forward slash sm give and then entity command we can actually set all the different upgrades. So we're going to give myself one of these and I'm going to put my name and then this next bit's a little bit confusing. The first thing we want to put is the range level so we're going to put level 4 then a semicolon. The next thing we're going to put is the delay level, we're going to put 3, then a semicolon. The next thing we're going to put is the final level, so it's going to be 2. And then we can put the charges on it, so I'm going to put 16. And then the final level is the total amount of entities that can spawn from it. And hit enter, and if we have a look at this, it goes 432, which we set. Now the other thing that you can do, which um, you don't have to, I think it looks nice, is the SM edit and then open command. This allows you to move this so if you want to move how the GUI looks and just move things around you can absolutely do that but I think it looks pretty nice how it is so I wouldn't personally change that. Let's see how it works in the config file. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and there's quite a few YML files. Now most of these you don't need to touch so the language file which just has the text that appears, uh, the layout of the GUI, the locations of the spawners the shop you can have a look at this is where you can set the prices for each of the different animals you can see and whether you're able to buy them you can obviously toggle them off if you want don't really need to mess around with that too much and then we have the configuration file so in here this is where you can change tons of different values so we've got the defaults here and then if we scroll down to modifiers holograms this was disabled by default so i had to go in here set this to true so there'll be nice holograms above each spawner and you can set it to true for natural spawners as well that a player hasn't uh, created and then down here we've got the default prices and various things like that um, do you want to allow stacking um, of these spawners and then down here pretty handy do you want explosions tnt creepers to break destroy um, spawners natural or man-made so pretty easy to customize you just tweak some values and it will be all good to go here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.14 to 1.19 and you can see there is an absolute ton of information associated with this plugin you can see some cool gifs indicating what it looks like which we saw in game 
And then down here we've got all the useful commands as well and the various permissions to give your players so they can actually do stuff. And then, as you can see, there's a ton of spawner types that you can actually use. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.